Hey, what's up everyone, Mori Croson here, and today we'll be talking about how to be resourceful, and we're gonna start the video right now. All right, so this is a little bit of a different topic than what I usually talk about, and the reason I think it's a good topic to explain is because I always am getting people that reach out to me that are saying, hey, you know, can you do this breakdown? Can I join this program to do this? And, and oh, I can't afford to do this program and everything, and it's like, you know, first of all, the programs we have are just, to me, such an affordable price, $97 for, for most of the stuff at, at the lower end, and then it goes up into, you know, a few hundred bucks. So to me, it's a very, very cost-effective program, especially when I compare some of the other things out there that are up into uh, thousands of dollars to go to a two-day camp, for instance. So a uh, big thing that I would say with becoming resourceful is really understanding that there's so many opportunities out there for you to get money. And so the first thing that you want to do is change the mindset behind it, right? If you're always looking for reasons of how you don't have money and how you don't have resources around you, then that's going to continue to attract into your reality. And you'll just continue to have less and less resources until you decide to actually change the mentality. So the most important thing that you have to do when it comes to resourcefulness is be able to change your mentality around not having enough resources to looking to be able to create more resources for yourself. And I'm somebody that personally did this in my own life and still do this in my own life, which is really continue to compound into more and more access to bigger and bigger things. And so when I first started off, I didn't have a super, you know, rich or affluent family. We're actually in a really high end neighborhood. My parents ended up putting a lot of money into the house, but didn't actually have very much additional spending money other than just paying for the house payments and you know playing for sports and things like that so all the times all my friends would be getting pokemon cards and baseball cards and new video games and blah blah, blah. and i couldn't do i had to work in order to actually get those same type of things one of the things i would do is one of my friends dads who would always be the pokemon cards i would do things for him i'd play in his pool i would do you know after when i was hanging out with my friends you know he would give me a pack of pokemon cards to clean the pool before or after and so just small things like that would help really help you out and, and then when i was in middle school i actually got suspended because i would buy fart bombs from the ice cream truck man and take them to school sell them to kids in school and were using them during class and then that ended up making it so I got suspended because I was the main reason for selling, but I was making good money on these fart bombs. So again, I would mow lawns, I would clean pools, I would do whatever I needed to do to be able to get money. And I can tell you right now, you know, I just recently bought a house again by being resourceful. You know, I have a really high credit score because of me. I have a ton of money in credit lines. So I'm become a person that has access to a lot more than what I started with, just because I'm always looking for new ways to expand, not only from an obviously digital perspective and helping you guys out with understanding your mechanics and, and how to you know throw, sprint, work out, everything like that, but also from a personal perspective and understanding how to utilize money in order to gain more resources and, and stuff like that. So I really wanna be able to help you guys out and be able to just have that belief that you can create the resources for yourself in order to actually get a program or you know invest into you. And that ends up being a, a big part of all this. Another big thing that I have right now is about $60,000 altogether invested into the stock market, which is consistently growing and making me more money, which gives me more resources, which makes it so I can continue to do more of the same thing. So big point here, right, is that the more you can start to invest in yourself, right, and to create resources that then make it so you can reinvest it back into yourself, then the more value you're gonna have over a prolonged period of time. This is something I started doing in my 20s and has have continued to do it now I, I just turned 30 and have definitely seen a huge growth in my own personal net worth because of it so the first thing i would recommend you to do is to start small right you're not going to go in and get enough money to be able to buy a house at the end of this year uh, especially for a lot of you guys that are in you know high school middle school or things like that but first thing that I would do is go in and look in the, in the general neighborhood to see does anybody maybe need leaves to be taken out of their place? Do they need to have snow shovel? Do they need to, you know, there's a ton of reasons why you can go even in your own house with your parents. Could you, you know, help clean the dishes? Can you mow the lawn? Can you, you know, what are the, can you sell lemonade? I used to sell lemonade. Anything that can make it so you can make a few extra dollars and then save that to, towards something like a program or something that's going to help you out, whatever it ends up being, will be really, really beneficial for you in the long term because it teaches you a few things about 
saving, it teaches you about investing, it teaches you about hard work, and all those things are super important for you to develop when you're at a young age. So again, I highly recommend you guys checking out different things within the area. And it's even a better sales point if you have something that you're really working towards, like you know, a $100 program, for instance, if you're looking to get faster, let's say. You go and knock on one of your neighbor's doors and you just say, hey, I noticed you have a ton of leaves in your front yard, or I noticed that you know your, your grass is a little bit long. You know, I'm currently working to try to get a speed program. I really wanna get faster. You know, I'm next, I live a few doors down. And I'm just wondering, like, can I mow your lawn for a little bit of money that I could put towards my speed program? If somebody did that to me, I would 100%, what do you, what do, what do you want? You know, I, would, I might even give them the whole $100, to be honest with you. So, um, you know, I would obviously recommend don't say $100, you know, five, ten dollars or, or whatever ends up being, you know, something that would make sense to you. But go out and do those types of things because it teaches you hard work. You'll get to understand how to deal with sales and negotiations and all the different things that you're going to need in your life. And so... Um, you know, there's a, a quick little video on how to be more resourceful. I do think a lot of you guys need to be able to do this because I, I talked to so many of you that just seem like you're hampered, like you're handcuffed, like you don't have the ability to create more for yourself. And you need to be able to get out of that mentality in order to grow and create value for yourself. And the more value you can create for yourself, then the better off I think your life is going to end up being. So uh, that's just my own personal philosophy, right? That's worked for me. The more value I've been able to create, the more happiness, the more I work hard, the more, you know, everything just seems to be more gratifying as that continues to grow. So uh, again, I, I hope that you take something from this and can put it into play. If you made it this far and you still haven't liked the video, this is a great time to click that thumbs up down below. That really helps us out a ton. Subscribe to the channel. Definitely if you haven't subscribed and let us know if you have any questions, comments, recommendations down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.